Good morning, everybody. I just wanted to make a quick unboxing video on the new, well, new to me, uh, Raid Japan Gravity Impact, or GI. Um, it's been out for the better part of 2021, but I finally managed to snag one um, a couple weeks ago. So really excited to unbox it, try it out. So stay tuned. Here she is. Um, the tail comes packaged so that they're, it's not bent or altered. Uh, it also comes with an extra tail, which is really cool and really nice of them. Uh, I plan on throwing it on 20 pound um, fluorocarbon at first. Um, this is a JDM brand I really love. It's really affordable, really, really good quality. Uh, I plan on trying a different brand as well, but this is one of my favorite uh, bang for your buck brands of uh, JDM line. But back to the Gravity Impact. Um, this is really cool bait. Um, just to kind of go over the specs, it is one and one fourth uh, ounce. It's 94-ish millimeters. So it's a really compact bait. It's really nice. Uh, bite size profile it's not overtly large um, it ha comes with a metal lip which is kind of cool it's different um, this is in the pearl shad color scheme by Raid Japan which I really love and um, it comes with really good um, raid hooks obviously um, it's a crank down bait and it has kind of a, a fatter uh, body as you can see and it's so that it has a nice wobble um, it, The lip shape and everything is made for when it lands to immediately start diving um, and It comes with its own kind of Different line tie. It's a little bar that extends out a little bit. So this bait and um, my friend um, Takafumi helped me translate a lot of the um, Raid Japan Gravity Impact videos. Um, this bait was made for bank fishing. Um, a lot of Japanese fishermen carry one or two rods um, usually, and so they have to be very versatile. And so this bait is made to be thrown on medium heavy uh, rods, and it's made so that it is compact in size and it's um, more in that simplic simplicity class where um, it doesn't take up a lot of room, it can be versatile, it can do a, a couple things. Um, so bank fishermen will love this bait. You throw it, you crank it down uh, about two feet and that'll kind of elicit strikes with its uh, wobble. Um, and or you can crank it really slow and it'll be kind of like a subsurface or a surface bait um, really interesting now that i've taken it out of the box just the wideness of the body um i just picture this wide wobble and once the weather kind of spruces up in michigan i'll make videos of the swim um paint scheme is amazing it's got a nice orange uh, touch underneath the, the chin. Um, it's got really nice details. And then I'm throwing it on 20 pound fluoro at first, just because it, this is the only one I have. And so I'm afraid of <laughs> losing it. Uh, once I get more, then I'll go down to my normal uh, swim, ba swim bait fluoro um, line test, which is more in the 14 to 16 range. Um, I just prefer that um, you get better kind of motion and you get um, just better action out of the, out of the baits, but you also lose it easier. Um, it snaps off easier, um, especially for a bait this size. I would definitely love throwing it on 14. Like I said, it's it's an ounce and a quarter, 
so it's not heavy you can throw it on most equipment it's a treble hook bait so you want your rod to have some some give some bend um, so you don't rip the hooks out so just unboxing everything um, this tail has two punctures uh, one here and one here and so I think what that allows for is if for some reason this starts to tear up top you can flip it and then puncture the other side and get more use out of it so technically you would have one two and then three four uses for that tail or reuses if any of the part would begin to tear or anything like that um so the other thing is looking at the specs closer once takafumi helped me is so this max depth diving is six feet and so when you keep your rod tip up and you do a slower retrieve it'll go down to about two feet so it's really built for those bank fishermen um or if you know you're fishing the river this would be the literally the perfect size for a small mouth but yeah if you're able to get your hands on this definitely give it a look check it out um at 94 millimeters it is really really versatile um you can throw it on pretty much anything um medium heavy uh just off the top of my head i'm, I'm thinking about the medium heavy uh tatula elite the 7.4 um, that'd be a great rod for it um, great bend um, that's my chatterbait rod so it'd be fantastic for this as well um, it's got great paint scheme great wobble um, great shape um, and then you have that rate japan quality of a bait as well so there you have it folks and that's the raid uh, gravity impact